Hello everyone! Today we are super zoomed out but that's because we're filming a pack with me and I thought let's put the camera far away so then we've got room to like get the suitcase in, get everything packed in it because I am going to the Malfi Coast on Sunday. Um, I think this video is going to be going live, hmm. This video is either going live on the day that I'm going or it's going live whilst I'm there. I can't quite remember in my head my uploading schedule but this video is going live at some point basically and I thought I would pack with you, bring me, no, bring you along on the journey. And I'm gonna do like a what's in my hand luggage as well. I was gonna do it as a separate video but we don't we don't need to do it as two videos, we're just gonna chuck all in together. So yeah, that's today's video. I'm gonna show you what I'm packing, talk you through a little bit, do a little bit of packing as well. Obviously it's a pack with me. It is Wednesday today so I'm not gonna like literally zip up the suitcase and put the lock on today because I'll be doing like last minute packing over the next few days if you know what I mean but we're gonna do we're gonna do the main bulk today okay we have the suitcase here people are gonna be screaming crying shouting because I'm putting the suitcase on the sofa but I have got like this blanket on top of it so I can just chuck that in the wash afterwards it's kind of the same as just putting the suitcase on the carpet really because that's gonna get dirty this is gonna get dirty at least this can go in the wash so don't shoot me this is the suitcase we're using I'm gonna get it am I gonna get open yeah I am obviously that was a bit of a question I'm just thinking like what order am I doing this in right first up we have have a last minute toiletries haul there are literally three items this is the most boring pre-holiday toiletries haul ever but oh well we'll carry on anyway sun cream we have a 30 already i just wanted to get something a bit lower so i've got 15 boots sultan protect and moisturize sun care spray then carrying on with sun cream i had this oh my god i took this with me to ibiza i don't know where it's gone it was very nearly finished anyway um like there's probably like one spray left so i don't actually do i know where it's gone I swear I used it. Oh no, I used... Why do I keep throwing this? Anyway, I had this already. It was running out. I needed a new one. This is the Garnier Over Makeup Super UV SPF. It's basically a spray SPF, which I love. And you can put it over makeup, but it's also really good for holiday. And it's good for non-holiday when you're wearing makeup, if that makes sense. And then this. Oh my God. This is heaven. I love this. This is a Vaseline Coco Radiant Continuous Spray Body Lotion. I love this. I've had this before. I'm obsessed with it. This just makes the whole moisturising your whole body process so much easier. You literally spray it and rub it on. And then I happened to walk past it in boots the other day. Because I always forget to get it when I'm in boots. And I saw it and it was on offer. So I got that. I don't know if I'm going to bring it though. Because I kind of want to bring more of a butter. That's going to be a bit more moisturising to keep the tan longer. So we'll see you're here for the packing process with me so we can see that is a last minute toiletries haul then we have a very lemon themed haul as well i basically went a little bit over the top with lemon themed things because if you don't know the amalfi coast is really famous for its lemons and i'm going to the amalfi coast so anytime i saw something with lemons on i basically bought it and now i've accumulated all this stuff together and i've realized i've gone overboard so this is the first stuff we're going to pack because i have literally bought this stuff for this holiday so there is no way i'm getting on that plane without it so first First so up we have these tops from Boohoo. These came out in the men's section the other day. I almost screamed and cried, like I'm not joking you, but I don't know if this is just a coincidence, but I feel like everywhere is bringing out um, like a Malfi Coast Italy themed things at the moment. Like I keep seeing lemon themed things. Molly May brought out her collection and literally shot it in the Amalfi Coast. Like there are so many like Amalfi Coast things going around at the moment and I am not complaining, it's so convenient. So Boohoo brought out this top which says Napoli on it and it literally says the words the Amalfi Coast Italy on it and we're flying into Naples. I'm tempted to wear this to the airport because it's kind of like a cute t-shirt of cycling shorts but I'm not sure. And then they also brought out this one so obviously I had to get both and this one just says Positano on it with a big fat bloody lemon on it. Like this is literally perfect. Again, a Malfi Coast written on it. And I'm thinking even just like bikini cover-ups. So they're going in. We'll pack them a little bit better in a minute. Then, this I think is my favourite. This is from Pretty Little Thing. They literally came out with a range of a Malfi Coast written things on. This I've actually worn already. I've not taken the tag out, but I chucked it on the other day when I was sunbathing. I just chucked it over the top and it works really well. And it's basically this shirt. I got it in a 10, so it was oversized. And it says a Malfi on it. And like, it's really cool, like neutral vibes. So it's so me. Again, straight in the suitcase. And then Primark literally pulled through. I went into Primark the other day to get some last minute bits. Flip flops with lemons on, two pound going straight in. I got this from Shein, this like little bandana headscarf thing. I caught the blah, blah, blah. I thought we could make a cute top or like a little headscarf, something like that. And then this is the first thing I got, which started this all off. This is from Primark and it's this lemon dress. It's so cute, but so not my style. But wearing this open as a bikini cover up, I'm thinking it's going to look adorable. So let me try and pack these. Oh, I don't know. Like it's stressing me out packing on camera. Like I'm worried you guys are going to be like, 
what a weird way to pack i forgot about these as well i got these from boohoo these little lemon print shorts again probably just wear them more as like a bikini cover-up sort of thing i'm not sure i'm gonna wear them as like a proper outfit outfit but they are i'm gonna roll these i think i feel like that might be better i need some scissors i'm gonna move you closer so you can see a little bit better what we're actually doing for my makeup this is the bag i always use as you can tell i love zara edited and the fact that i can get my name on things so we have this little makeup bag it's from zara but i got it last year i do like to bring a fair amount of makeup but i don't tend to wear it all but i like to have the choice so first up i'm gonna start with a really good dupe actually this is my chanel tan de chanel bronzer she's almost finished and oh we've just lost that thing i'll get that back in a minute she's almost finished but she's also pretty bulky but this is from primark it's the ps bronze whip and it's very very similar it's basically like a cream bronzer and it's really really good and it takes up a lot less space it's actually got product left in it and also i'm kind of like if anything's gonna get lost i'd rather lose this than this not that i want to lose anything okay but you know what i mean then i'm gonna bring i'm not sure what foundation to bring i've got my mac face and body which is what the one i normally wear and i absolutely love this because it's really really lightweight and obviously with being on holiday and it being hot and stuff i don't want to be like wearing too much makeup and this is a really really good foundation but this is a little bit darker and i'm hoping to be getting like more tanned and this is now sheer glow but it's more of a like thicker foundation like heavier so if i've got room i might just bring both so then i can choose but at the moment i'm not too sure definitely going to bring my charlotte tilbury flawless filter because i could always just wear this in the evenings and not need to bother with foundation and i'm also going to bring this this is my neod photography fluid tan opacity eight percent makes your skin look really nice it's a bit like the charlotte tilbury flawless filter and together these look beautiful like you don't really need foundation with them and also if my foundation is a bit pale this will make me look more tanned and then i'm going to bring bobby brown face base just as a face base and also similarly i'm going to bring my urban decay it says d slick on here but it's actually just a normal one in here now um just a setting spray and then i'm obviously going to bring like eyebrow things where's the waterproof mascara that was in here i'm going to bring waterproof mascara i'm getting my i'm getting my lashes redone this is them at the moment this is like the most unflattering angle in the world really showing off my dark circles as well but yeah i'm getting my lashes infilled tomorrow but i like to wear bottom lash mascara on my bottom lashes so i'm gonna bring some waterproof for that and then random little bits i've got a q-tip always good in case your mascara smudges or whatever i've got this liquid highlighter and also this strobe cream because i want to put like some glow on my collarbones you know when that looks really nice so i'm tempted to bring one of those but again i've not decided i've got all my contour stuff so i've got my primark contour stick my 17 um contour well concealer but i use it for contour and my nyx jumbo eye pencil in milk these are incredible i love them my nose is not going to get any smaller on holiday so i'm going to need these to still contour and then i've just got my nars orgasm liquid blush in here i love a cream blush i use them every day but this one especially on holiday i just feel like it's a really nice holiday blush and then this bronzer which i was gonna bring instead of this just because of how small it is but again undecided and then i need to put like concealer in there eyebrow stuff you know like the basics but that's the majority of my holiday makeup so that is that so that can now go in no it can't oh we're not bringing that that's why we're not bringing that because it's taking up too much room that there we go can now go in there and then I'm going to talk you through a few other bits I'm packing, give you a little close up. These are some scissors because I've got tags on things that need cutting off. So other things that are going to be packed. I feel like this is kind of awkward because I've not got my full face on frame, but I don't want it to be like too far away with my face and that you then can't see things. So we're just going to have my mouth in, but at least you can see my mouth whilst I'm talking. So things that are being packed. I have this hat. I am obsessed with this hat. I've got this the other day. I've not actually worn it yet. Um, it's this little like um, straw hat and I got it personalised and the colour scheme we know is so me so we have that and then talking of personalised like I said about the makeup bag we know I love Zara Edited I have this I love this so much again I've not used this yet because I've not been on holiday since I got this because this arrived whilst I was in Ibiza um, it's this Zara personalised beach bag I cannot wait to bring that and then I am also going to bring this as a beach bag this is what I use for Ibiza and it's just like a really nice size slouchy one you don't have to worry about it getting mucky because this literally costs like three pound and i'm sure i can just chuck it in the wash this is from zara and i'm either gonna just like fold this flat in the suitcase or i'm gonna line my hand luggage bag with this bag just because then it doesn't really take up any space and then i also have this shirt i just want to show you this because it's so cute it's this white sisters and seekers shirt 
and it says on it here i've been wearing the ocean all day and we're going on a boat trip and i'm thinking this is gonna be so cute it's like a little bikini cover-up type thing for then and then i've got my little belly chain that sophia and i made in ibiza so i'm gonna bring that with me if you want to see how we made this go and watch the ibiza vlog okay let's get this stuff packed i'm gonna change camera angle again i keep i like changing the angle you know so let's put you there i think i feel like an absolute genius because i thought to bring some bubble wrap i'm gonna get some more because i don't think this is gonna be enough but basically i have a feeling well i just kind of know that like i want to get like a nice dish from sorrento or like from the amalfi coast i watched sophia and chinzia's like um sorrento amalfi coast vlog like a few months ago and they showed like loads of shops that sell beautiful like plates and stuff and i just know that i'm gonna want to buy one so i'm gonna bring some bubble wrap with me so that when i buy said plate or said ceramic fragile item i have bubble wrap to wrap it up in to bring it home and i feel like that is genius and it literally weighs nothing so I'm gonna just, I don't know, I feel like I should wrap something up in this on the way out, like I might as well. Maybe I might just put my makeup bag in it because it's got glass stuff in it. My camera battery just ran out of charge, so I've just had to change it. But as I was saying, um, I'm packing this tiny little toothpaste. Like this is gonna be perfect. We're going for four nights, I think. So for two of us, this is literally gonna be like the right amount of toothpaste. Don't have to leave it there. Don't have to bring any back. It's gonna like, look. That's taking up no space. And then I also have this. This is my Malibu Fast Tanning Oil. Don't use this if you're like really pale or you burn easily. But I've got quite like good skin for tanning. And I will use SPF with that as well. But just like a word of warning, I'm not promoting that. But I find it works for me. But just be careful with it. I've also obviously got my sun cream, which is down here. So we've got that to pack, that to pack. I don't think you're making it in the suitcase, sweetie. So go away. Um, Yeah, got those and then got 30. So that's like... Um, I'm gonna lift that up actually I don't want that to leak but this is like sun star and then I'm also packing this Josh and I will not go on holiday without Uno I don't feel like anyone should go on holiday without Uno but Josh and I definitely won't like this is like our game we play every holiday this pack is getting so tattered because it's been all around the world I'd say that it's literally been to Spain and France with Josh and I because we've not gone that far afield together that doesn't matter though that's definitely going in the suitcase like no doubt about that for facial SPF I think I'm gonna bring this one just because out of all the ones that I've got at the moment this is like the smallest and best size packaging wise for traveling I got sent this the other day this is from Bondi Sands and it's the Sunny Days SPF 50 moisturizer and I just one I love the packaging and two I just think like size wise and everything this is gonna be the best one to bring I mean it's a little bit risky because I've not tried it out yet so I don't know if it's going to break me out but I'm just going to do it I need to put all of this in a toiletries bag in fact I might put some of them in like a nice wash bag but I think like this this kind of like leaks on its own anyway this I'm going to put in here I do actually also have my fox tan tanning like oil no not tanning oil like tanning mist to bring um but Sophia's got that at the moment for my Ibiza so I just need to get that off her tomorrow um that's pretty Thank you for doing that camera. I'm resting you on the makeup bag that's wrapped in bubble wrap. So it's not really the best tripod. You are literally in the suitcase. Let's just move that bit of bubble wrap. That can go in. Oh, I need to pack a shower gel. I'll just get like, I'm going to get like a mini, no, I'm not going to get them. I have them in my drawer. I just need to get them out. Like a mini shampoo, mini conditioner and a mini um, body wash. Josh will definitely bring like a six in one thing. I'm not about that life though. So I'm going to bring like mini ones of each and they can go in here as well. So I'm just going to quickly chuck in. I mean, that doesn't obviously need to go in there. It's not going to leak, but I find it easier to just like, where is the little mini toothpaste gone? Oh, it's here. Um, I find it easier to just keep all that kind of thing in there. So that is not finished, but that is a toiletry bag. For bikinis, I have this one. We've got this from Topshop, which has like this little thing in it, like a little ring. Um, it's quite nice. I love the top of this. Oh my God, this is really difficult to show with one hand. Looks like that. And then the bottoms um, don't have a ring detail either, but they're like, they're not a thong bottom, which most people will like, but I personally prefer a thong bottom. I just find them more flattering, but I'm going to bring that anyway. And then I've also got this one from Opoly, which at the moment I've just got the top for. I'm not sure where the bottoms are. This again, literally going to be so confusing to show, but it like has this really nice tie back detailing and it's beige. And then I am going to bring, I'm going to bring a black triangle bikini top and I'm I've also got my H&M black bikini top that's in my car. Why is it my car actually? 
oh i used it when i went and got some pictures the other day that's why it's in my car I'm trying to think why i had a bikini top in my car um that which i wore to the harry styles concert and it's in some pictures on my instagram that i'm gonna pack as well and then i need to decide what other bikinis because i've got about twelve thousand bikinis but i'm obviously not going to bring them all um but i'm gonna try and stick to like neutral vibes whereas ibiza was more colorful this is more neutral and i'm hoping that my shein um lemon bikini will arrive as well so that for now is bikinis that i'm packing make sure you're following me over on instagram because i'll be posting loads on there like on my stories and stuff and i'm also as long as josh takes good pictures and i like how i look in them i'm also planning on posting quite a few like pictures on my instagram feed in like the outfits that i'm wearing because i feel like it's a little bit tricky to see the outfits that i'm packing now because half of the things like i haven't really held up very well and shown you because it's a little bit tricky so if you want to see like actually outfits that i'm wearing in a bit better detail go over and follow me on instagram because you should be able to see things better over on there and i am also going to vlog um the trip to the amalfi coast so i'll try and show you like my outfits each day then as well this is not very good packing i know that but i know that i've got like other things to pack over the next few days like i need to take my makeup bag out to use it over the next few days before i then pack it properly so don't worry if things aren't packed to the best of my ability because it will be packed better like do you know what i mean like this is not the finalized packing this is the o poly bikini top in a little bit better detail so like is it better detail i'm not sure it looks like that on the front and then it crosses over on the back like that it's a little bit scrunched up at the moment and then this ties on the back slightly better like way to see it but not ideal uno mm, could go there i'm gonna move you away again so i can actually have my face in frame because i feel like you've not seen it much in this video and that might annoy some people because i don't know just feel like when you don't have your face in a video it can be annoying I still need to pack straighteners and my blow dry brush. There is no way I'm going anywhere without my blow dry brush because otherwise my curtain bangs don't really work. And then I'll bring a little Velcro roller to put my hair in as well. So I'll pack that, but I'm literally going to be using that up until the last minute before I get on the plane. Not before I get on the plane, but like before I leave the house. So that'll be a last minute pack. Hair brush will be a last minute pack. Um, I still obviously need to pack a few more clothes, but I feel like I'm going to move on to my hand luggage now. Now for my hand luggage, I did bring my Longchamp bag when I went to Ibiza, and that is the one that I normally bring because it is so big, and it does fit with, like, Ryanair's regulations, but I just want to bring this one. Like, every time I want to bring this bag with me, but the problem with this one is it doesn't have, like, a zip closure. It's just got, like, this magnetic thing, whereas my Longchamp one, I can zip up and I can chuck it on the plane, like, underneath the seat, and I don't really care about it because it's black and it's wipeable, whereas this is obviously cream so i might end up swapping my hand luggage bag to my long shom but i'm gonna give this a go in the bag i've just realized my kindle's not in here because i was reading it last night but i will have my kindle in here i will definitely have a magazine this is my one that i got in ibiza which i still need to finish reading i don't know why that's gone really overexposed then nice page to open that up onto um but yeah i'll buy a new magazine in the airport i just love to have one to read by the pool but that is just to signify a magazine and then the good thing about this bag is it's got like this pouch built into it so i put a lot of my stuff in here because a lot of the stuff that i packed is like little bits so i've got my airpods i'll obviously also have my phone in here my camera will also be in here but i'm obviously using at the moment and then I do also have in here my tripod for vlogging and I'll have like spare camera batteries, little bits and bobs like that, but I'm obviously using that at the moment. And then I also have a portable charger and obviously I'll then put my charger, like my phone charger in here as well to go with this. And then I've got my card holder. Oh my God, it's personalized again. Can you tell I love personalized things? Um, so I've got my card holder, I've got my Monzo in there so I can use that abroad. And I will also bring uh, my credit card with me as well because that can be used abroad as well without like a fee. Um, so I'll bring that and I'll obviously bring some euros i've got some worthers and also some tribor trebor 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 how do you say it soft mints i actually got these in the airport in ibiza and i thoroughly enjoyed them so i'm going to be bringing them with me on the plane and then this is one of my favorites look at this i have a mini game of uno where did i put here we go this is the normal size of uno and this is my mini game of uno look at the difference in them this is adorable i got this off urban outfitters i've not actually used this yet and i cannot wait but this is going to go in the suitcase and i thought this would be good to go in the hand luggage so we can play it on the plane but it doesn't take up much space and i'm also thinking like because we're not staying in like an all-inclusive so we're going to be going out for dinners and stuff this is a good little game to bring so we can play uno when we go out for dinner if you want but it's not going to take up much space because trying to bring this out with you just isn't the vibe so like look at how cute that is that is adorable and then i've got some sunglasses these are from Bershka. I will probably put these ones in the suitcase and just bring like a 
more normal pair of sunglasses in my hand luggage but these are just to signify that i will have some sunglasses in there and then i have a variety of tablets so i have some day calms because if my anxiety decides to trigger or anything these are good to just have and from the same that's just gone for the same idea i have these i love these if you get i don't really get travel anxiety anymore i feel like i've like managed to kind of get over it which i'm really happy about but when i went to uni i developed anxiety and sometimes certain things will trigger it not very often luckily but I would rather have stuff with me just in case and these are really really handy i find they work really well they just use like little black currant pastels and they kind of taste like a sweet and they feel like a sweet but i find that they work really well and then i did also pack my little liquids bag but that's still in my room so i'll go and grab that in a second and then i've also just got some ibuprofen in case you have a headache or anything i'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it and then is there anything else in here? oh yeah i also have this these are bubblegum smints i got them in ibiza me and sophia both got them and we are both obsessed with them they are delicious so i literally bring these everywhere with me now and then i have this pouch again i bought it from the amalfi coast it's got lemons on it um it's got a little bit of tissue in it at the moment which i will take out but it's from primark and i think i'm going to use this as like my little documents holder i'm going to print out all the stuff for the holiday just so that i've got a physical copy of it like my boarding pass um like hotel confirmation and stuff um and then i can just put my passport in here because i like to put it in like a pouch that i can find it and i feel like this is really appropriate for this holiday so i have that and then i have got my toiletries bag which i'm going to quickly um go and grab and this is then my little liquids bag there's not much in it at the moment but i've got a hand sanitizer a little pepper pig one um just because obviously on a plane covid like just planes in general anyway just like need some hand sanitizer um i've got some mints in here i'm not sure why they're in the liquids bag I'm not sure I'm going to bring these because I've already got the smints and the other mints. So actually, we don't need them. And then I also have a little bit of CBD oil. Um, again, just for like anxiety reasons. It's really small. And again, I'd rather have it not need it. I probably will put some things in here. I might actually put my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in here. Just to make me look a little bit more alive at 7 o'clock in the morning. No, my flight's at 7am. I'm going to be in the airport at like 5am, 4am. So I might put my Charlotte Tilbury in here. A bit of under eye concealer because otherwise I'm going to look dead. So I'll probably put a little bit of makeup up in here um what else am i gonna put in here not really much else i don't think because i don't really need much else in here but i will pop some little extra bits in there and that is then basically my hand luggage bag some entertainment bits some like chewing gum minty bits some anxiety bits and some technology bits really so that is my hand luggage bag done <laughs> And I feel like that is now pretty much my pack with me done. I wanted to show you like what I'm packing, talk you through it, kind of pack with me, kind of. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And make sure you're following me over on Instagram so you don't miss out on some of my holiday content because there'll be loads of holiday content on there. And also, like I said, make sure you subscribe down below as well because I will be filming a holiday vlog as well. So if you want to see what I get up to on this holiday that I've just packed with, packed with you for is what i was meant to say i obviously just stopped the sentence halfway through if you want to see the vlog for this holiday make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss it thank you all so much for watching and i shall see you at some point soon in another video bye